Hi, my name is Victor. I'm going to show you some of the reasons why I love app code. So we're going to start by uh, creating a new project. I'm selecting view based application here. Um, and let's, let's call it test app code. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just select auto scroll from source and auto scroll to source. Now I'm going to show you uh, a bunch of uh, shortcuts that make, can make you really productive when you're programming in app code. Um, and as I do so, you will see the shortcuts that I press in the top right corner. So for example, to open a file, you press uh, Command plus N, and then you can start writing uh, the name of the file that you want to open. So uh, if I uh, press write test app, I get the choice of these files, and I'm going to open the view controller file. Uh, now to open the header file, you press Command, Alt, and Home, and there you get to that. Uh, if you want to switch between your open files, you press Command, E, and then you get a menu with all the open files, and in this, file, in this case it's just one other file. So press Enter to choose that one. Um, to navigate between methods, you press Command plus F12, uh, and this is really, really useful. Uh, in this uh, menu that pops up, you can also search. Uh, if I press View, it's going to find all methods that contain View. It doesn't even have to be the start of the method. If I press Write Did, I get the, the middle of the method here. Okay, so let's let's just make a simple application. Um, to, to show you some of the basics. Uh, it's going to be an app with, with just a button and when you press the button something fun will happen. So first things first, we have to define a, a method that will be called when we press the, the button. Um, so we define a method. Um, let's call it uh, button pressed. Like that. And here's a cool thing with um, app code. This method isn't defined yet, and I can just press Alt plus Enter, and I get the option to implement the method. And there it is. Now we have to jump to uh, Interface Builder quickly just to create the button. Now here we are in Interface Builder. So let's just add a button. Place it here, make it a bit wider. I'm going to change the title to click me and uh, then we define the outlet for touch up inside to the button pressed selector and while we're here I'm just going to change the background color to white like that okay so back to app code now let's first uh, see what the app looks like in the simulator. So we press Shift plus F10 and start the simulator. And there's the button. Then we can click it, but nothing happens. So now when we click the, the button, I want to show an image. So I first drag some files into app code and I click OK. And then I create a UI image view. I call it Love. And I alloc the image view and I in it uh, with an image and it's a UI image image named love like that and I set the center to a point like that. And now I want to um, change the width and height of the of the image. So to do that, I have to allocate the frame to a variable and then and change those values. Now uh, to do that, I, I can create a local variable and there's a shortcut for that 
first we have to select the text and this is a really neat function in, in AppBrains I think. And in other most programs when you select the text you, you kind of just move to one side and you shift and you, you move to the other side. But in, uh, in all JetBrains editors you can just press um, Command plus W then select the, the smallest scope of text and you keep on pressing it, it selects a bigger and bigger scope. So you can select the whole method or the whole file like that and shift and W you get back. So I want to, I want to just select those two words. And then you press Command Alt V for variable and you can extract a, a local variable. So now we have that and I can um, change the width to 100 and the height to 100 like that. Uh, and then I add the image um, add sub view love like that and now if we run it we should see an image when we click the button and we do but it's uh, not resized because I forgot uh, to and assign the rect to back to the frame. And you can also see that if, you have, if I press F2 you see a warning that it's an unused variable. Um, so I say uh, love.frame equals rect like that. And if you press F2 again you, you, you see warnings. And by pressing um, Alt Enter you can act on those, those warnings. So for example here I forgot to release love. So I just press enter and it's going to add the release for me. And now let's try it again. Well, it looks better. Um, now let's, um, for the fun of it, say that I want something else to happen the second time I press this, this button. Um, so let's uh, say that we want to have an if-else statement here. Um, I happen to know that there's a, there's a good function for that in JetBrains, but I forgot the, the shortcut for it. So there's one shortcut you can remember, and will help you remember all shortcuts, and it's Command-Shift-A for action, and then you can just type the name of the shortcut, and you, you see the shortcut uh, displayed. And I remember that this was called something with like surround. So I press surround, and we see that the shortcut is actually Command-Alt-T. And I press enter and it's, I get a little menu here where I could choose different surrounds and I'm going to choose if else. <clears throat> and I'm going to say if it's um, if it, this button has not been pressed before, I'm going to do this. Um, but else I'm going to undo something else. Now you see that this variable doesn't exist, so it's red. And then just press alt enter and I can say create new instance variable like that. Um, and then command E to jump back to the M file. And we want to make sure that we uh, initialize this variable to false. Uh, pressed before equals false, like that. Here's another neat function that you only get from, from JetBrains programs. Uh, we've been jumping around here. We, we were in uh, another method and just jumped away to, to add a variable. Now to get back to where we were, you can press Command Shift uh, Backspace. It's going to jump to the last edit location. And you keep pressing and you get back and back. So now we're back where we were. Okay, so I'm going to add another image on the second press of the button. And I'm going to call this image logo. And to rename uh, variable uh, you press shift plus F6 uh, and I choose rename all occurrences and I write logo. Uh, it actually should not rename that one. Um, and I want the position to be 155 and 300 here and actually I don't want to uh, change the size. So let's try this. Uh, 
and it's not going to work because I have to set press before to true in this case and let's try it again We, we have an app. Now, to make this a bit more sweet, um, let's add uh, an animation so that it fades in instead. So we can do that by saying UI view, uh, animate with duration, 0 0.5, and we set the uh, loud.alpha to uh, 1 and of course we have to first set it to 0 like that we can try that see we get a sweet animation now if we want to have that for the other image as well instead of copy paste it let's, let's make um, a method called fade in and to do that, we select these two lines, and then you press Command Alt M for extract method. And then I can call the method fade in, and I call the parameter uh, image like that. Um, so now <coughs> to fade in the other image, I just say self fade in logo. Yeah, we can try that. Hey, it's pretty sweet. So I've now shown you maybe like 10 shortcuts, uh, which are all really awesome and make you super productive. And these are some of the reasons why I love JetBrains. Thank you.